Hi, I'm Mike Coza, and I'm from Sacramento, California. Mike, uh, can you tell me uh, what got you into, in, into investing in the first place? Well, I had mutual funds like most Americans do, and uh, during the tech wreck, they were going down. And my wife said, you're good at math, you know, can't you do better than them? And I said, well, they, they tell you the market's efficient, you know. And she, she said, well, maybe it isn't. So I took the money out of the mutual funds and put it in the market and found out it was not that difficult for me to, to beat the market, you know, using mathematical skills and just a little common sense. Yes, yes, I mean, I, I believe what I was told, efficient market theory, you know, you can't beat the market. These long-term capital guys are all geniuses, you know, they can't beat the market, it's impossible, you know. I, I believe what I was spoon-fed, but, you know, the value of the portfolios were going down, and it's not that hard to beat the market if you work hard and, and you, you know, you've you got a little bit of head on your shoulders. And did you have a broker when you were in the market for? Oh, yes, we had, you know, the traditional brokerage firms. Um, and they uh, put me into investments that were not appropriate and, uh, you know, annuities and such. And, uh, and so it was obvious they didn't know what they were doing. And so it was time to, uh, to do something else. Describe your style of investing. Well, it's primarily value-driven, but, you know, I'll buy growth stocks if they're selling at a reasonable multiple or future discounted cash flows. Uh, you know, I look at the total return over the you know entire future of the stock, not just what's going to happen in the next few months or a year, um, because I believe the market will eventually see what's going to happen over the long term in regards to what happens in the next week or day or minute. Um, that'll come through. So we're looking for uh, you know large future earnings. Um, so you're a value stock investor. Definitely, definitely. And I look for situations where news is you know unfavorable to the stock or it's misinterpreted. Short-term events, you know, um, maybe a little bit of share issuance or, um, you know, negative news coverage, you know, um, or panic in the streets, uh, you know, good situations to look at. Makes up for opportunities. Yes, yes, definitely. There's always opportunities out there, you know, even in good markets, bad markets, certainly.